Aquarius, uh, welcome. It's your heart spread read for mid-January 2022. It's a love, romance, and relationship reading. Um, this is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And in the heart spread, I'm really looking at you. Here are the two of swords. And the one that's most on your mind, most in your heart here, this other. Um, so... I, I was thinking about this before I started it, and apologize for laying it out ahead of time. I do shuffle, and uh, it's quite a bit of meditation for me now before I can even do a reading. Um, that's just how I like to do them now. But uh, I'm going to do another reading, so hang in there, because this doesn't end well. I've got already got another card deck pre-shuffled, so we'll layer on to the outcome, which is your two of pentacles. Not really bad, um, but this relationship doesn't look like it's working and you're probably with the fire sign could be a leo you know you got the cat here um but you know aries leo sads for sure i think we're dealing with sun moon rising and venus and they're coming in with this kind of fire energy with the two of wands the thing here uh given what the two of swords means and the two of wands mean this is their energy in love over here this is your energy in love when you come together and uh you could be in a position just of sort of really not knowing what you want. Um, got uh, a little bit of a echo. If you look at echo and uh, narcissist, there's articles on it as the mythology and as it relates to astrology. It's kind of like that energy, the two of swords. When it's in this position of kind of where you're at in terms of love, you know, the two of swords, I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Well, here comes this fire sign. They're like, oh, Aquarius, I, I don't know what to do. We need to, you know. And the way they're reacting to you is with the devil card. Okay, so be just take that for what it is. I mean, yes, Capricorn, no, not Capricorn. And the lover's card. So between the two of swords and the lovers, the way you're reacting to them is you're being very open and vulnerable um, you're sort of like really falling into this energy because I mean you're sort of like I don't I don't know what to do I don't you know have direction and here comes this person and it just it could be like a sweep you off your feet energy I mean the king of wands here I mean you know it could be dominant male or female someone that's exciting it's um, probably very outgoing it might be you know humorous it, it might be charming as hell you know it might be really sexy too I think that could be what's getting you i mean read go ahead and read sexy devil sexy devil so um your advice from spirit with the knight of swords this is what i call the coming at you knight of swords here with the ethereal visions illuminated tarot deck so very direct so possibly you don't like doing this you know it can be aquarian energy um it help maybe you have aquarian mercury one of the best mercuries i think but find this solid place in yourself it's a lot to ask when you come in with the two of swords here and tell them exactly what you think, okay, about what they've been doing. Because you're, you know, an option and there's been something going on. I'm guessing you would probably know this as we come into the reading. Um, so, um, or certainly suspect it. I mean, you have the three of cups coming under the devil. And I really don't always try to read, even in a relationship reading, I don't always see the three of cups just fooling around. Because it can be inviting someone to be emotional. But I think that's what this is indicating here. Because it's in their advice from spirit. And it, this is your advice from spirit. And when a relationship doesn't work, it, to me, the reading defaults to you. So then this card, which is the most important card in the deck. And this is the advice uh, for the relationship as a whole becomes your advice. And with the three of wands, it's simply to move your energy on elsewhere. You know, take, well, really, it's take your entry away from this. Look for something else, guys. It's very clear, this reading. <clears throat> I, I don't even know if it needs to be this long, because I think we'll try to get some help with this next reading. But I see here with the Two of Pentacles is really positive. I don't know whether this was just not that deep of a relationship, or something in you is, um, is there's some kind, of, you're finding some kind of strain, some kind of balance in your, in, you know, What's missing here is the Two of Cups. You know, you got Two of Swords, you got Two of Wands, and you got Two of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles are the outcome. What's missing in this relationship? Cups, love, you know? 
The only love here is what you gave. And it looks like Aquarius. I'm not just saying it's because it's your reading. To me, it's like you gave your heart. You thought this was real love. And, you know, this is pretty, this could be pretty rough, you know, whatever went on. So we always like to think of uh, lessons learned. And you do this four card reading here with the Gilded Tarot Royale deck. Bottom of the deck is going to be the Ace of Cups. I And I got the feeling, see, this is advice from Spirit here, this Three of Wands. So I take this very seriously. So Spirit is telling you, be on the lookout. And I believe I was already going to say this, but I was kind of waiting to see what this reading does. I was going to already say this could be about finding your Ace of Cups. And this is the real deal here, guys. This is the real deal. And this is not this person. I mean, it's not like them coming back and some shape fashion or form which looking at this you're likely to do by some spirit move on move on just move along next there's that mem that i love next that should be you here now we're gonna look with four cards six of cup ones seven of cups look the three of wands is repeated guys this, in a four-card reading, this is the advice from spirit position. Different deck, shuffled, repeating three of wands. This is the advice now for you in this deep ball, which I think you're kind of, this is your reading. Please leave me a comment. You know what the hell, we all go through this stuff. You're handling it magnificently. You're already kind of getting it together here. Um, so this is a outcome. All right, perfect. So... <laughs> The outcome card is the Four Cups. It's emotionally detaching. Emotionally detaching. Now, the past energy is a Six of Wands. I'm going to tell you what this is. There was some ego in this, and, and not to be mean, but, well, you needed it. It was like you were lost. They came along. This, they swept you off your feet. They had damsel in distress. It could be a dude. I mean, it's, just, it's emotional. It's not literal. You know, but all of a sudden, when you were with them, you went from being two of swords to the lovers. I mean, that's like swooning, right? And, you know, um, maybe quick, that type of energy. And the six of wands kind of fleeting. You know, one minute you're the hero, and the next minute, you know, they've moved on to a new war or whatever. And, uh, you know, you're forgotten. So uh, seven of cups, this is what's blocking you. You're emotionally in, still in turmoil. And you probably can't wrap your mind around this emotionally. I believe the Seven of Cups, sort of not being able to get a hold on something emotionally. Um, so let me just clarify that. Because so I think you need to be open here. I think you're doing exactly the right thing. If you're going to get this Ace of Cups here, Aquarius, um, then you have to be done with this other one. So the Page of Swords. So there's some kind of message for clarity yeah, I don't, I don't know. This could be there's something you need to say to them. Um, there's something you need to ask them. There's some closure you need, some kind of... Uh, it could be just uh, what you need is a mental clarity. Like with the Seven of Cups and then clarifying with the Page of Swords, um, it might be you're trying to figure something out emotionally that is really best figured out mentally. And, um, I, you know, I hate to use the narcissist word, but I swear, I'll put a link to that Echo Asteroid uh, article, Echo Narcissist. But it's easy to find, but um, it just feels like that energy. So this will be a huge relationship with two cards of three of wands. You really understand. This could be understanding exactly what this is. Understanding what happened to you emotionally was that you were used in... There's a strategy to them. The two of wands is there's a strategy to it. Two of swords, you, you don't know. You're not. It's the victim. You're a great victim. You're going to blindfold on. Anybody could walk up to you and knock your head. So, you know, he's looking here with the two of uh, wands, okay? So in planning, okay? So it's very clear here. Uh, walk away from this. Uh, use your mind to understand what went on. Um, you know, um, I mean, you you probably left asking yourself, well, what was it real at all? I mean, because I mean, I said things. It's kind of energy of the devil, um, and um, it if they're really like a narcissist or something, a sociopathic energy, and they're using people. Uh, what's love? You know, it's like um, that's uh, probably not. You know, is the answer 
if you have, you, know, you always got to know, like, if you have to ask, is it love? It's like, yeah, probably not love, right? But I feel like there is something waiting on you. I'm not just saying that. It gets you going. It, it, this is on the bottom of the deck. I love this. Pisces energy, too. Think about Pisces uh, and Neptune in your chart, too. Um, I was also in YouTube, um, a Neptunian themed relationship. Okay, Jewel does that aspects in astrology, fascinating uh, her work with that. And it was me, you know, I'm the classic echo, so it made a lot of sense to me. I get to, I see that a lot here because when this love comes in, you know, um, this is gonna be real. You know, Ace of Cups is real, I love it, it's real as it gets. You're gonna look you right in the eye, you're gonna know there won't be any doubts. Like probably is now, uh, probably was even the beginning with this. Some part of you is just shut down, not seeing it. That won't be a problem in the future, Aquarius. But thank you guys. Hope you like this reading. Uh, give me a like. It helps a lot get the algorithm moving along. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Saturday's always uh, Aquarius and Pisces Day here. Thank you guys.